So many of them. Unbelievable. They were all in the field here. Obviously they got scared because I was here, but pretty cool. So, back in the field again. I'm really having a cold. I mean, <coughs> maybe I should be in bed, but I don't want to. I want to be out and dig holes and find stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just a couple hours. I mean, I'm not, I'm not all that well, but you know, we'll see. Let the adventure begin. Come on. I've got this pretty tight signal. So let's get it out of the ground together. Come on. The first thing I noticed when I took this piece out, there is a small piece of a clay pipe in the clump. So that works, it's here, there it is, I think it's a big, big musket ball. I nicked it a little bit, crazy, what a big one, unbelievable. Clean it up a little bit, hang on. It looks like it's a dropped one, because there's no, well you can't really see that it's fired. Crazy. I need to look up with what kind of a gun you would shoot this. There are really big fat balls. Anyway, very decent find. Let's see if there are more of these. One hole over there. And one here. This one is a 70 signal and, and that one is a 61. So, yeah, maybe we will find some goodies. Oh, look at that. A fairly old bale seal, I think. Yeah. Some writing here. Alright, that was the first hole. Let's check the other one. I checked it and it is already somewhere here. Hmm. Some junk. This never really happened to me before. I <clears throat> didn't keep track of my uh, uh, battery level and suddenly I ho hear this bleep and then nothing. I'm like, hey, what's going on? But the batteries are dead. Good thing we brought some extra. Let's put it in and keep hunting. We're on to a tight 80 signal again and it's gonna be somewhere down there now the ground is a little bit different color here so I'm not sure <laughs> if that's a good thing but we'll see ooh what is that not sure yet don't know. Now this find was down there and it was underneath this old brick and it's a buckle I think and it's it's kind of decorated but well, I mean I can't really clean it now here because the 
the ground is so sticky but I never saw a buckle like this before I'm guessing it's pewter but we'll find out when we clean it but for sure it's a it's an older find and well it's always always nice if you find something that you never found before never saw anything looking like this so quite pleased with this broken buckle <laughs> It looks like we did it again. A silver in the hole. I had this very uh, faint signal, and I, I, you know, I thought it would, would be a very deep one, and it actually was. But it's also a very tiny coin. It must be silver. Not terribly old, but silver is a silver. Let's check it out. Came from down there. Made quite a big hole because it didn't want to damage anything, of course. And there it is. Oh, you can see shiny. <laughs> it's gonna be a 10 cents. But from whom? Ah, King Willem! <laughs> well, we have to go to the canal again. <laughs> I was thinking I need to bring like a, uh, a spray bottle, but I didn't yet. Ah, oh, it's going to be nice. <laughs> oh, man. There he is. The dude. <laughs> okay, let's see the date. 18 something. Some of these coins are actually very rare and it's in very good condition I think. Let's see. King Willem. Now let's check, it's really looking nice actually. <laughs> let's check out the date. 1887 very good looking coin <laughs> oh well and then I'm having a cold and I thought of going home but I didn't want to go home because then you just sit inside and I just want to be outside basically I'm very happy I did <laughs> oh man and it's a first timer for me so very pleased with this one <laughs> Let's keep on digging. Newfound energy, for sure. It kind of sounds like they're having a cool conversation with each other. It's, it's just funny. <laughs> Maybe they're talking about me. I don't come across these very often. I think it's actually the second one I'm finding. It was a, a button. The shank was broken off. But anyway, it's a very, very, it's a thin but very big button. Sometimes there's really nice fancy decoration, but this is just a flat empty button basically. <laughs> but still cool to find. Like I said, don't come across these too often. Now I did not record all of those, but it's it appears to be musket ball day and otherwise pewter spoon day. It's unbelievable, but another big musket ball. I like finding these. It's again not fired as far as I can tell. Crazy, they're so heavy. <laughs> Don't want to run into one of those. I didn't find these in, in one hole. This one I found previously. This one actually came out of this hole. But I thought, you know, now I have two. I thought I'd show you. They're probably from a horse and wagon. And uh, probably this is where the rope or the, yeah, the rope went. 
and you know sometimes they're really uh, they are threaded so they're not terribly old but sometimes they're really really looking nice with a uh, decoration and all that stuff I found a few of those but I mean these are quite simple ones but still they scream in your ears <laughs> you can't miss this signal they're completely brass so anyway if there's two maybe there are is another one as well that looks a little bit more fancy. So I'm gonna detect my way out of here. It has been enough for today. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna clean the finds back home because they're they're so muddy you won't be able to see anything than just a pile of dirt. Wrap up time we'll be back at the house. Oh, we'll have to do quite a bit of walking to get out of here. But I really enjoy that. It's just... You kind of feel alone on the world. <laughs> and sometimes that's really cool. Thank you for joining me today on this adventure. And obviously I really hope you will join me again on my next adventure. But for now, take care.